Ouija. Well, we'll see how this goes, though. Um, we we know Matoha has plenty of experience against Rashid. Assuming, I, I, I feel like yeah, this is not where you bring up the Lucia. To, I need to take a little break. Okay. I'm listening. I just, I need to go grab water. Oh, you, you, hey, you do that, man. All right, no surprises here on the V system choices. Let's see what Ouija can bring out here. I feel like any of the the crazy chaotic situations that Rashid can put you in, Matoha seen. There's nothing is new here for Matoha. I also bet you that Matoha is holding tap right now. Oh. I mean, and that could definitely cost him. If he's holding tap half this round, you lose access to uh, two of your buttons. So that can actually, they really come into play. Yeah, just the way so he's like be... being so conservative, though, is really makes me think he's holding tap. Just waiting for that, that whirlwind cancel. Yeah, and I feel like he's kind of, if he's holding tap, he definitely is changing uh, which buttons he's using a lot of the time, which is kind of the optimal thing. You can... If you ultimately like hold down three buttons and then let go of the one that you need to use next, you can uh, still hold on to, I think, your full uh, tap charging. Uh, but good blocks there on the uh, the V-Trigger 1 activation uh, and follow-up situation for Matoha has a decent life lead here, but all it takes is two good hits here for Ouija in order to take it, but Matoha is just able to find the low low. You don't think it. he's going to do it because it's not safe on block, but if you're not blocking low, then it don't matter because it's going to hit on the second hit instead of you blocking it. So, a little bit of a mistake there from Ouija, but Matoha is going to take it here as he tries to, uh, to move forward in this uh, second round, oh. but big punish here on the uh, EX reversal attempt at, uh, from Luigi. You know, you have that uh, the extra delay, but you're still invincible, which means that it's still crush counterable towards the second half of it. Now he finds the opportunity, gets the enhanced EX mixer, spins the meter on the EX dive kick too. It had one hit till the stun, and he's going to be able to find it there too. Good job from Ouija there, able to tie it up around a piece. Really wanting that run back. As you said, you know, both of these players wanting that run back against uh, Anthony, but Anthony has just been looking so solid. But we'll see, you know, how much more solid counter hit on the second hit. Gonna get to confirm on the plus four situation and good blocks here from Matoha and then good anti air too. That's he gotta did not be want the screw up on the dash under. Sometimes it happens as you dash under and you hold like down back. Yeah. Excuse me, down back as you're side switching, which would be a down forward. It kind of gives you a double down forward input, which I mean, you get an uppercut. But less in the dome right now yeah. is Matoha trying to send Ouija home. Of course, he should already be there if uh, this is an online tournament, but. Here's the V-Trigger activation. We're going to wait and see what's going to come of it. Going to get hit one, two times, three times. Going to get the world, excuse me, not the whirlwind, but the uh, the kick into uh, the super to connect. Oh. Just needs one more touch. What's it going to be? The weight, the patience. If Matoha finds anything, if you throw any fireball, if you get hit by anything, it's going to be into the critical art, just like what we saw there. <gasps> he whiffed! Oh, God. Ah! 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 Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, just wait, he still V trigger. Okay. I thought he just went for that for a sec. I also I'm glad you said something about him having V trigger. I also thought that he just went for, for low rush and it was just uh a fifty fifty and I won the game kind of situation. But Matoha, you know, he's a smart cookie. Oh. Surprised with all the uh the buffs they did to different oh, moves boy. to make them drop less you're st still seeing stuff like that. But uh, Matoa didn't didn't crack, kept it safe, got that game. Yeah, why does it feel like even when Matoha is in the corner and Ouija's pressuring that Matoha is still at advantage? Like he's just so dominant in how he performs in defense that it yeah. feels like even though you get the knockdown, you have him in the corner that 
you're the one that's one hit the trade combo to push out of the corner checking the toes against why are you walking back against me but uh good dive kick to beat out the anti-air medium punch and that's going to give Ouija a chance at life here as he finds the anti-air into activation here you have to block all of this good block he stayed in front went behind on, oh, yeah, the, on the wall jump <laughs> able to get the good punish there on the dash punch but still trying to keep this corner situation as frantic as possible the screw up and not going to connect he needs just a little bit more and that's going to be enough with the medium mixer it's so Ouija. hard to punish those wall jumps it's annoying you know what i wish as he was clinging to the wall he could get hit or air thrown but like there's like this couple frame situation where he clings to the wall and nothing yeah. can happen to him it's super annoying yeah, especially when you're gone and you react to him jumping and you jump air throw, but then he wall cleans for a second. I'm salty still. I definitely saw that a few times tonight. Makes no goddamn sense. My throw <laughs> hitbox goes right through him. Okay, let's stop focusing on that now. <laughs> Man, uh, no, I gotta what say... What we focus on is how Matoha is dominating right yeah. now. He just chased down everything in every situation from Ouija there. Not a perfect, but it definitely felt like after Ouija got the initial kind of back and forth out of the way that Matoha was just entirely dominant. One thing that, well, nice check on that EX Whirlwind cancel. Uh, Matoha is something they're really calling out right now is Ouija likes to walk back in pressure. He's been going for a lot of unsafe low stuff and it's been hitting. Yeah, too much out of time. We've seen it with EX Low Rush. We saw it in that round where he went for... Uh, Went for the lowest uh, as well, so it, it's definitely a theme here. Gonna get out of the corner here is Matoha on the anti now, just able to find some pressure here. We've seen so many times before that he's willing to just EX dash punch, EX dash punch, and that's what it's gonna be right there. Getting another 200 damage on the board, just needs one more touch, but we have a V trigger on deck for Luigi. He's able to find the use for it. Gonna do it right now? Absolutely, but you have V trigger on deck for Matoha, <laughs> and he V shifts the he biggest shifts the of brains right there of the attempted oh, eagle wait. spike and you know you're just out of it right now if you're a Ouija you get punished like that your opponent goes up 2-0 against you that's a rough look like the momentum is so in favor of Matoha if you're mm -hmm. if you're Ouija plus one here oh, there's so many things that are racing through your brain what? about what you could do better it's like oh should I've done this should I've done that should I've uh, done X, Y, and Z and Matoha just sitting there being like yeah i'm godlike just full full confidence in how he's gonna play the rest of this matchup and it's kind of uh, that brazen confidence that can carry some players as long as they know what they're actually doing and matoha definitely knows what he's doing number 181 on the leaderboard 131 excuse me i feel like he's moved oh. up 50 places the last time i look one more for the sun now from matoha he's gonna get the air to air on the jump back is that the hood that's gonna be uh, I think it's uh, sort of a hood perfect. There was no actual damage on it. It was all chip damage. Yeah, that, that's what I call it. Hood perfect. Hood, hood perfect. Yeah, I mean, that's the classic. Yeah. But let's see if the actual classic can happen here. Ouija would have to bring it back six straight rounds right now in order to, uh, to take it. It would be super hyped to see him do it, but Toha right now is just so slow and patient on the ground, finding these little hits here and there, making them add up to big things, but right now, Ouija Plus doing the same thing with these crouch fierces, but miss space one thing, and you're out of here. Getting too much damage from Box to miss anything, the same thing vice versa if you're, uh, if you're Matoha, but you might just be a little bit more willing if you're Matoha to just you know, more, maybe more experience in the fighting community to just have that patience in situations to just wait, listen, watch, see what's going to happen. No punish there on the ball dive. You're going to try it the second time? No. Third time? No. Just waiting to see what's going to happen. No reason to press forward super a lot here and lose something in the corner, but going to get whiff punish, but no confirm, but still getting mixed. One more touch. All either side needs. If it's a throw, both sides need two throws, but gonna be shipped again neither one you know gonna be the one to uh, lose the V trigger and not get the activation but Matoha is gonna be the one unfortunately just a little bit too passive there in the jumps and the dash ups in neutral I know they're fast but you got to make sure that you're ready for those I say if I'm Matoha with how like he's winning pretty clean in the neutral I wouldn't even fuck with the corner 
Like once your pressure's over in the corner, I just back up, let him wall jump for a while until he gives up. Yeah, for sure. I mean, but Toha is excellent at doing that kind of game, but right now tied up the life lead gonna get some big damage here's not gonna be enough to kill but just one more situation the v-break gonna get some of that to go down a lot of it to go down now uh but your life bar is not out of the woods yet especially when you misspace your dive kicks like that just one more touch to screw up we're gonna get beat out by the bait and that's gonna be some good damage now we get the v-trigger activation just to show what i can do get back through again I can't believe that he didn't run up and back throw him another time. I'm pretty sure there's going to be another back throw there after two crab flight kicks. But instead, it's going to be the dash punch minus on block. And that's going to give Rashid the ability to get a, uh, a pretty decent punish there. Yeah. I feel like, like honestly, no, no offense to Ouija, but a lot of unforced errors there towards the end from Matoha. Um, like, that's... I, I still don't understand the dash punch at, at the end. Maybe he just really believed it was going to hit. But just really unnecessary. He had he could have made it safe with meter. He could have just backed up. But sure, Matoa is not one to lose this set. I mean, not wanting to lose it and doing the deeds that make you not yeah. lose are two different things. So we'll see how that works out right now, Matoa, on that life lead. Trying to take it back to a uh, one round game, but VG right now doing an excellent job finding back the wall. I'm going to save him from uh, utter defeat in the corner. All right, nice dash forward. You expect your opponent to play so solid here in this neutral that the dash forward just catches you off guard. Same thing with these dive kicks. You expect them to just hit the regular jump in so your uh, there just isn't ready in time, but this time Alexi is able to take it. Match point Not like, yet again. What did I say? You said Alexi. I I wasn't going to question it. <laughs> my, dude, these are things here. Things are on my brain. Um, Matoha's name is not Alexi at all. By the way, it's just just look at his name but do it backwards. That's his, his actual name. I'm I'm lost right now. My brain scrambled. Just okay. how uh, just how Ouija's brain's looking a little bit scrambled. Here. Thankfully, got away from that that uh, neutral jump punish on the forward medium. That could have been extra bad here. As Ouija's looking to find this V trigger one activation out of the corner, can definitely find the situation now. Double uh, down medium kick is gonna be pretty bad situation here. Anti air got beat out. Now gonna back up activate. Just trying for it. These dash punches is able to close the distance. Okay. I was a little worried.